think their cuts are going to be, you know, obviously their cuts aren't going to be as, as, as bad. I mean, Kaufman probably only has to cut, what, maybe five pounds uh, to, to be able to make weight. And, you know, I'll be, I'm interested, interested to see what, you know, how she is. I mean, her last couple fights, I mean, she looked really, really great. And the fact that she doesn't have to worry about that weight cut. Um, you know, really that much to kind of concentrate more on her fighting. I'm interested in kind of that kind of scenario and what she's been kind of doing with that as well. I mean, what's kind of your thoughts on that? I mean, not having to do a weight cut, you know, that's one one kind of pressure on their shoulders. But then again, it could be something that's just part of your process. Yeah, so I'll tell you what, I've done I've done it both ways. Uh, I had a Muay Thai fight in June. Um, we... We ended up taking it at 1.30 because Muay Thai is not my first-hand sport. We just wanted to go ahead and get a fight in, but um, in case an MMA fight came around the corner, we, we didn't want to cut me down too far uh, for recovery. So anyway, took it at 1.30. I usually fight at 1.15, and um, I felt terrible. <laughs> and I also didn't enjoy the process as much, uh, which sounds weird. Weight cutting sucks. I'm in the middle of a cut right now. It's gallons and gallons and gallons of water and kind of nothing else towards the end. And you're hungry and all you can think about is is eating anything. Weird stuff. Stuff that makes no sense. Like pregnancy cravings for pregnant women actually make sense to you. <laughs> you're like, yeah, pickles with that would be really good. Um, so I didn't enjoy it and I felt really heavy. I walk around about 1.30, but um, I don't know. There's just something to be said for the process for me. And being a little bit lighter on my feet, um, not everyone's like that. Some people are cutting a ton of weight, um, are fighting usually in a class that they don't really fit into. Like, it's probably too much. Um, so moving up a class or so helps them, you know. But for me, I I kind of enjoy the process. I'm, I always feel better when I'm lighter on my feet. Yeah, so yeah, again, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how how Sarah kinds of kind of does this. I mean, obviously with, with Larissa, like I said, they're they're roughly they're roughly natural bantam weights. I mean, both of them have fought about. I would say even Larissa could make it down to 125 if she really wanted to. But um, but um, yeah, I'm interested to see kind of how how that ends up coming. And then if if Sarah does face Kayla, that's going to be the big factor. Is is that Kayla will be dropping down a lot of you know is dropping down in weight. While, while um, it's not going to be very much for, for Sarah in particular. So it'll be interesting to see um, how that, that size advantage is and, you know, how strong. I, I think, really, to tell you the truth, Sarah's going to become a lot stronger than she, I've seen her since, since she, she first started. I mean, she's, a, you know, she's gained a lot of muscle. She's gained, um, you know, she just looks, you know, really more, um, you know, just really more stronger than she, she's ever, ever seemed to be. So I'm interested to see kind of uh, as well, you know, in that final to see how, how, you know, Kayla size versus I think what'll be, you know, Sarah Kaufman's, you know, like I said, you know, really gained a lot of muscle over the past, um, over the past couple of years. So I'll be interested to see how that kind of, kind of goes, but I'm putting kind of putting the cart before the horse until we figure out what's going on on Friday. So we'll have to see. Yep. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, tough enough over at the Green Rally Ranch coming up on, uh, on Saturday. Tickets are still available, guys. Definitely check it out if you're in the Vegas area. Um, if you're here for the VFL, I mean, you know, you get PFL on, on, on Friday and, uh, tough enough on, uh, on Saturday. Um, and to be able to see some of these, some of these great fights is really stock card. Like I said, a lot of Winter Warrior fights, um, that are on this card as well. Um, there's, I think, two, two female Winter Warrior car, um, Wimpy uh, Wire matches on there besides, uh, you know, Chelsea's fight. Um, if I was looking at the card real quick before we got on, um, and I think that's the situation. Um, so uh, definitely just, just check out that card if you want to, to watch the season of MMA action over the weekend as well. Um, and um, the uh, fights are going to be, um, if you guys have, guys have BN Sports, um, it'll be uh, broadcast on BN Sports, I think, a week after. Um, so you guys can uh, check out BN Sports about a week from a week from Saturday, a week from Friday, uh, a week from Friday, and you'll be able to be able to watch the fights um, if you can, in case you guys missed it. Um, anything else going on, Chelsea, at all? Uh, man, sorry, I have wake up brain. I'm like, where am I? What time is it? Um, that's the main thing, you know. Uh, I'm always working on stuff, like I've said, so. 
soon as I'm able to talk about something, you guys will be the first to know. Yeah, and then, yeah, we'll hopefully have you back in studio again. Um, hopefully, we'll get some guests lined up uh, in the next couple weeks uh, to to be able to uh, talk about some of their fights coming up. Um, and um, yeah, um, yeah. I as as far as I know, I haven't heard when uh, when and where the uh, weigh-ins are at um, at, at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, so um, hopefully I'll be there for those. If you know. Like I said, it all depends on timing because I know the PFL card starts at 4:45, so I have to kind of be over there. But if I I need to, um, you know, be over there, get the weigh-ins real quick, and then head over there, um, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Maybe if you know, I'll maybe miss a fight or two, which won't be the female fights. So um, we'll have to take a look. So hopefully, I'll see you over there at the weigh-ins, and uh, and uh, you know. I look forward to you kicking some ass, ass at, at the Tough Enough um, again and uh, being able to see you. I think this will be the first time I've, I've seen you fight live, so it'll be interesting. Oh, how cool. Well, thank you. I'm excited to have you out. Yep. Um, and uh, well, I'll definitely see I'll, I'll, If I don't see you at Way Ends, I'll see you at the event, uh, event on Saturday. Absolutely. We'll get a picture. Okay, definitely. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, kick some ass, like I said. Break a leg, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Check us out at WombatSports.com for all the latest news in women's combat sports. You guys can check out myself out on Twitter at WMMA News, at WMMA News, and check out our latest articles by following our Twitter at Wombat Sports. That's at Wombat Sports. Um, we'll be uh, doing some Instagram over the weekend as well, so please go to at Wombat Sports. You'll be able to see some stuff from the PFL as well as Tough Enough, um, and that'll also be on our in, on my WMMA News stream as well. You guys can check us all out on Facebook, WombatSports.com. And um, like I said, we'll have some news hopefully coming up uh, you know, in the next couple weeks. Um, right now, I'm in the middle of scheduling some people around, so hopefully we'll have some interviews coming up. Um, we'll have a really great interview with Sumi Sakai coming up on the website within the next couple of days. Uh, we're just waiting on uh, Sumi to kind of uh, fact check a couple things for me. And um, we'll have that up on the website. It'll be, it's a fascinating article to look a little bit about what's been going on in terms of how her career is going in professional wrestling and how she is somewhat of a pioneer in terms of that um, coming from a mixed martial arts background. From that, With that, um, thanks for guys for joining us for um, the WMMA Math Podcast. You guys can uh, check us out, like I said, on WombatSports.com. And uh, we'll talk to you guys in the next few weeks. Please check out our coverage of the PFL and Tough Enough coming up this weekend. Like I said, on Twitter and on Instagram, Wombat Sports. We'll talk to you guys in a couple weeks.